So for our topic, we have multiplication and division of rational numbers. So let's have multiplication of fractions. First, we will multiply whole numbers by fractions. Example, 3 times 2 over 5. So the whole number is 3. So the first thing to do is turn the whole number into fraction. So 3 will become 3 over 1 times 2 over 5. Then, we will multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. That means, multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. So, we have 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and 1 times 5 is equal to 5. So, 6 over 5 is already the reduced form. Next example is 7 over 8 times negative 11. So, we have different signs here. So, in multiplying integers if we do not if we have different signs so the answer is always negative so turn the whole number into fraction so negative 11 will become negative 11 over 1 and then multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators so we have 7 times negative 11 is negative 77 and 8 times 1 is equal to 8 and then express the Answer in lowest terms, so we have negative 77 over 8. Next one is multiplying fractions by fractions. Example 4 over 5 times 3 over 7. So multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So that is 4 times 3 is equal to 12 and 5 times 7 is equal to 35. And express the answers in lowest terms, so this is already the reduced form. Next example is negative 3 over 8 times 6 over 5. So multiply negative 3 by 6 and that is negative 18. And multiply 8 by 5 and that is 40. Then the lowest term is negative 9 over 20 since 18 and 40 are both divisible by 2. Next one is multiplying with mixed numbers. So we will multiply 3 over 4 by 2, 2 and 3 fifths. So the mixed numbers is 2 and 3 fifths. And we will make this an improper fraction. So 2 and 3 fifths will become 13 over 5. That is 5 times 2 plus 3 is 13 over 5. And then... Multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So that is two ti 3 times 13 is 39 and 4 times 5 is 20. And then the reduced form is already or the answer is already 39 over 20. So you have to take note that in multiplying numerators and denominators, follow the rules of integers. The next one is division of fractions. First, we have we will divide whole numbers by fractions. So, example, 8 divided by 2 over 3. So, first step is to turn the whole number into fractions. So, 8 will become 8 over 1 divided by 2 over 3. The next one is to keep leaf change. So, you have to keep 8 over 1. And then you have to leave 2 over 3. And then you have to change the division symbol to multiplication. And that will become 8 over 1 times 3 over 2. Then we will now apply these steps in multiplying fractions. So 8 times 3 is equal to 24. And 1 times 2 is equal to 2. And 24 is divisible by 2, and that is equal to 12. Next is dividing fractions by fractions. Example, 3 over 8 divided by 6 over 5. So, we will go directly to keep, leave, and change. So, we will 
skip 3 over 8 and we will flip 6 over 5 and that is only finding the reciprocal so it will become 5 over 6 and we will change the division sign to multiplication sign and then we will now apply the steps in multiplying fractions so we have 3 times 5 is equal to 15 and 8 times 6 is equal to 48 so since they are both divisible by 3 so 15 divided by 3 is 5 and 48 divided by 3 is 16 next one is dividing with mixed numbers example 1 and 3 fourths divided by 2 fifths so the mixed number is 1 and 3 fourths and this will become 7 over 4 that is 4 times 1 plus 3 is 7 over 4 then we will keep flip change so we will keep 7 over 4 and then we, then we will flip 2 over 5 to 5 over 2 and then we will change the division symbol to multiplication symbol and we will now follow the steps in multiplying fractions so that is 7 times 5 is equal to 35 and 4 times 2 is equal to 8 so the lowest term or the reduced form is already 35 over 8 again in dividing numerators and denominators or multiplying numerators and denominators follow the rules of integers so that's all for division or multiplication and division of rational numbers